We did karaoke. I was trying to I got here too late. I turned on the camera too late. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joannis or Joe Hitago. I'm a Sierra Leonean American living in West Africa. And if you want to know what my fifth week was like in Sierra Leone, then this is the video for you. All right, so we're week five in Sierra Leone, but my overall weeks in West Africa is week 74, believe it or not. We're 74 weeks into my living in West Africa. We got a lot to go over today, so let me just give you the rundown. First things first, a friend of ours, Tamba, his mom had her 70th birthday, so we got a chance to celebrate with him, his family, and his wife's family, that was also really cool. Um, I had a board meeting with Launchpad Africa. We had our first internal board meeting um, in a while. And so we had that in person, I should say, in a while. Uh, three of the four of us were together, we had that meeting. Um, and I had lunch at New Brookfield's Hotel. So the same place that we went to for the birthday party, we also had uh, our meeting. Uh, then I went to the supermarket and I did a little shopping at the supermarket so you guys will get a chance to see what it looks like to go shopping at a supermarket in Freetown. I don't know if you guys have got a chance to see that yet, so I'll show you that. Uh, and then lastly, there was a going away party for Tamba and Jita, his wife. Um, they are Sierra Leoneans that live in the U.S. now, but I met them in Sierra Leone a couple years back um, and they come back and forth, but they were leaving. And then since I was leaving too, it was kind of a going away party for me. We did karaoke, it was a lot of fun. So let's just jump right into all of it. All right, so first things first, they are Tama's mom's birthday at New Brookfields Hotel. Really nice spot, they have a really nice conference room, a giant conference room where you can have events. Um, nice hotel overall, I've never actually been there before. I never really spent time there before, but it was cool to go there and get a chance to see it from the inside. Um, but the event was good overall. Our crew, of course, uh, stole the show for a little bit, so you get a chance to see that. Uh, but overall, it was great. They have goodie bags that they gave out. They um, played great music. The food was amazing. Very, very good food. Um, overall, it was just a good time, so check it out. All right, guys, I'm about to head out to New Brookfield's hotel. It's my friend Tamba's mom's 70th birthday party. The whole crew is gonna be there, so check it out. Quick drip check, um, Africana or smart casual. Uh, so I got my shirt that I bought at uh, Big Market in Freetown. Got it tailored a bit for my sleeves. Uh, got the pants, and then of course, got the guest shoes. Whoa. Got the pants, got the guest shoes. Let me know what you guys think. We'll get some more full body pictures, but let's let's go. I'm here at New Brookfields Hotel. We're about to go in. Just want to give you a quick look at what the, the hotel looks like on the outside. MBH. So there's the lobby. There's some outside rooms. Face the inside courtyard. It's a pretty big location. It's a big parking lot. Fields has a nice pool area. Uh, lots of chairs, big pool. Um, at night, people sit down there to eat. They have their dinner out there. There's a little bar over there. Um, I saw a couple of couples having like a nice date night, so it's a good place for dates. Um, and then when you come out to the parking lot, it's a huge parking lot with all of the ability to park. Like it looks like at least 50 or 60 cars. Uh, so this is a really, really big hotel. So I was just walking down towards the conference center. I had no idea where I was going. I'd never been to this hotel before. So as I started walking down, I realized how far I had to walk to come down to the front of the conference center before I walked inside the building. But yeah, as you're walking down, um, you basically just see all the lights, especially at night from the main conference center. So just keep walking down. There's the entrance, of course, as you walk in, you'll start to notice there's a bunch of different artwork there. Like on the left, you see that really nice sign um, or that ni really nice piece of artwork. And here is the birthday lady. 
happy 70th birthday. But the festivities have already begun. Okay, give me the name, please. These are the family, you know, this family they come from Rombo, they come from Pujiaun, they come from Blama. This is us. If we are family, we with a mix up. What's up, Joe? Good to see you, bro. Where's Frances? Frances, okay. Alright, where's Junior's daughter? I don't see her. Where's Jean? Where's Jean? I don't see Jean. So as you see, there's the big sign there for her 70th birthday party, of course. Did a really good job putting up the artwork and stuff. Um, then of course the DJ table, I had to show a picture of the DJ or show a video of the DJ. He had a whole setup, um, just some more signs with pictures of her saying happy birthday. They had chocolate that was branded, 70th birthday celebration. I mean, they were serious. The flower arrangements, the, the candy, the chocolate on the table. I mean, this was really, really, really nice. Um, they had um, sparkling champagne, um, and then the food was good. So you had kind of like a uh, buffet style um, where they served you. So you grabbed your plate and you just kind of went around and they gave food. Um, of course, I was limited in my cuisine, so there's only so much that I could eat. So when I got here, um, you know, I basically was just skipping over stuff like stuff that I knew potentially could have dairy in it or meat in it, I didn't eat. Um, so there was some chicken, there was some fish. Um, you know, and if you eat chicken or fish, it's good. Uh, I heard it was good, just not for me. So, you know, they're trying to give it to me, and I was like, uh, no, thank you, I'm okay. Um, so I kind of skipped over all of that. Um, I did end up getting some, I think this was fries, was that no those vegetables those were mixed vegetables yeah um so i got some mixed vegetables to go with my rice um and then i added some hot pepper some pepper sauce right there that pepper was hotter than i expected though let me tell you guys something that's what, i even took just a little bit but it was really hot they, had, they even had watermelon slices but i wasn't necessarily um, in the mood for watermelon. I, I thought about it and I was like, no. Then I went over to the other table to see what they had and there was so much more food over here as well. And there was desserts over here, but they had rice akara and bean shakara, which of course I love rice akara, so I got a, a couple pieces of rice akara. Um, this is something that I eat all the time when I'm in Sierra Leone. It is fried, but it's really good. Um, and it's non-dairy, so I can eat it. So whenever I get the chance, if I'm somewhere, I try to get um, some rice car from people who are, you know, the cooks who are making it. I think there's plantains a little bit there down the line too. So I was just waiting in line to get to my point where I could get my plantains. But yeah, eventually I just stuck my plate out and they were able to give me some plantains as well. So the food was really good. Um, a lot of fried food though, but it was good. And once I got it, I was done. I was off to my seat to try to taste the food and eat the food, but I was so hungry. So, um, what I see that, by the way, the, the confetti on the floor, I missed that part, but when she first walked in, they they did a big like, poof, confetti, confetti, and wish her happy birthday and all of that. I was a little late because I was working, of course. Um, but anyway, came back down to my seat and it was time to dig in. So let's see what I think about the food. I was just moving everything out of the way so that I could begin eating. But man, this food looks good. So I can't wait to show you what I thought of it once I started eating. So I was eating it while talking, of course. So that's why they're doing what so we're doing voiceover work right now. But let's see what the jello fries taste like. It was a fried rice. It was fried rice. It was good. You see me nodding my head. Then I went for the plantain. Thumbs up. Plantain was good then. What else did I have? Um, I got some more rice. Just another bite of rice. Definitely liked it. Another thumbs up. It was good. It's good. It's good. That's what I said. And then, of course, I just went around to look at everybody else's plates, what everybody else got. A bunch of people got chicken, fish. Um, but everybody said the food was good. Um, some of it was catered and some of it... This is just Sylvia Adra and uh, Leanne singing Everyday People. I'm Everyday People, right? I'm Everyday People. 
So they were really enjoying the music. It was good music. Um, and then at some point, um, Tamba had um, mentioned and Patrick had mentioned that um, Tamba's mother came and danced um, at someone's wedding. She was dancing and they were like, we have to return the favor. So um, my, I'm not a dancer, so I just recorded it. But my people, um, we did a little dance for her just to, you know, return the favor and say thank you. And of course, we stole the show, of course, because our group is a dancing group, as you know. It's the party starters. Shout out to the party starters for for uh, turning up a little bit at this event. But it was a good time. We had a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. We've been through thick and thin. And any kind we they are Lord. And we continue for stay Lord. And the bond between we all so tight. I want to turn our 10K. And I want to say to the health of me, Reverend Mrs. Moira Moe. Let's raise our glasses and celebrate the 70 years and more. Goodie bag. So it's a it's a little um, hard to see, but they had a cup in there, they had pens in there, they had a little notebook, um, and on the bag itself, it actually had "Happy Birthday." So it had her birthday on it, which is really good, um, and then some thank yous on the back. But you know, like I start pulling it out. So there's a cup, of course, that you can see saying "Happy Birthday" to her. Birthday is the 21st of May. Um, then when you go in a little bit more, you just pull out the notebook, which I'm actually using. It's a notebook with her picture on it and her information on there for her birthday and everything. Um, and then I went back in more and saw what else was in there. What else was in this bag? Let's see. That's a mystery bag to me right now. I can't remember. Okay, there's the pen, which I actually have used, by the way. Um, with the same thing, her name and her birthday on it. 70th birthday. And so... All right, so that was the birthday. What did you guys think? Did the food look good? What did you think about the goodie bags? Did you see the chocolate? They had they had branded chocolate there too. Of course, I don't eat chocolate anymore, but um, I gave mine away. But yeah, overall, it was a great event. Had a really good time. I'm glad I went. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the event and how, how everybody was dressed. Everybody was dressed up, right? Definitely in that very, very nice Africana chic style. All right, guys, on to the next. So next, uh, the Launchpad Africa board meeting. Um, we had a great conversation. We had to prepare for our larger board meeting. Um, that's all confidential, but you guys will get a chance to get more of that later. But I did go to lunch at New Brookfields Hotel and it's a new place for me. The food is pretty good. Definitely recommend it. It's actually better than I thought. A little expensive. <clears throat> mm, sorry. A little expensive, but overall it was good. Definitely recommend it. Um, so yeah, check out the food. All right guys, so I have a founding board team meeting at New Brookfields Hotel. The founding board, of course, of Launchpad Africa, the nonprofit startup incubator and accelerator that I have here in Sierra Leone. I'm going to meet up with two out of the total four of us. So it'll be three out of the four. So it'll be three fourths of the Launchpad Africa founding board. We're meeting in person at New Brookfield Hotel to talk about our first half of the year and what we plan to do for the second half of the year in terms of partnerships and raising money for this nonprofit. So guys, check it out. Okay, so this is just some of the Freetown streets so you can see what it looks like as we drive from where I was to New York Fans Hotel. Um, I came from uh, the Longley Beach roadside, so um, driving up um, past I think Congo Cross and a few other places but this is kind of what the street looks like and so here's what it looks like when you're entering New Brookfield's Hotel so they have a big security sliding gate you come in there's a bunch of rooms there on the left as you're pulling in there you can see them all on the left and then here's the menu they have burgers they got toppings and salads um, they got entrees you can see all the entrees here um, a bunch of different stuff available to eat um, then here's the desserts um, they also have pastas, Far East food. They have African food. They call African all day. They have a bunch of appetizers, of course, which is what I like to eat. Um, they have salads as well. They have sandwiches and wraps. We got fries, no salt, and we got vegetable spring rolls. All right, let's see how it tastes. So let's see the fries. 
no salt. Good. Spring rolls are very hot. Very good spring rolls. Very good. Alright, these guys are on point. Food here is good. So that was New Brookfield's Hotel. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I thought the food was great. Did the food look good to you? It was good to me. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that's New Brookfield's Hotel. On to the next. So next I went shopping uh, at the supermarket. You'll get a chance to see what it looks like. This is one of the few that they have there. There's probably about five or six supermarkets in town. A couple of them are smaller, a couple of them are larger. Some are like chains where one family owns multiple. Um, but this was the one that I went to and I had to grab a couple of things. But anyway, check it out. All right, I'm just grabbing some stuff from the supermarket. I do need Q-tips. Okay, y'all send us Q-tips, okay. Get the toothpicks in here. All right, I need to get waters and I need to get paper towels. Paper towels. It's like green tea, horsehead tea. I need like chamomile, chamomile tea, or there we go, pure chamomile tea. Twinnings pure chamomile tea. That's what I need. Boom, cool. Um, chamomile, and then paper towels. So, plenty of paper towels, lots of brands. I got the jumbo packs, which I don't need. I'm gonna go with this one. Paper for people. It's also not in plastic, so it must be renewable, sustainable. And I need some toilet paper. This is paper towels still. Yeah. Need some toilet paper. What's this? This is still paper towels. So where is the toilet paper? Uh, the toilet paper's over here. We got four. Rolls of four. Toilet paper, this works for me. All right, I'll take that. And then what else did I need? Some 
buy. So I needed paper towels, toilet paper, toothpaste, tea, paper towels, toilet paper, toothpaste, tea, Q-tips. What else is on my list of things that I needed? So this is my to-do list I sent to myself. Lotion and floss and water. Alright, so they don't have lotion, but they do have water. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these golf waters. Grab a couple of these golf waters. We'll get four of them. That'll hold me over for the next two days. Alright, so now we're all set. We just still need to find. So that was a quick supermarket run, getting a little bit of an idea what a supermarket might look like here. Um, so yeah, that was a supermarket run. On to the next. All right, and the last thing we did in week 74, my fifth week in Sierra Leone, was going to the going away party for Tama, for Tamba and Jita. So um, it was a really, really good time. We did karaoke. Um, I got up and did one song by myself. Uh, it's much harder than you think, by the way. I did, I did, uh, new, I did uh, Empire State of Mind, Jay Z and Alicia Keys. Leanne, of course, who came from the Bronx. You guys might know her because I did an interview with her on the channel. Um, so she came and she did Alicia Keys's part. I did Jay Z's part, so that was cool. Um, and then we also did um, the Model by Tyga, Drake, and Lil Wayne. I got up and did Lil Wayne's part. Uh, my boy Patrick did that. Everybody else got a chance to do a song or two, went around the whole um, group. We did a song. It was actually really, really fun. I'm glad I did it. Uh, but yeah, check it out. All right, guys, we're on our way to a going away party at a friend's house. Uh, two people are going back to the States. Um, they actually have grown up here their whole lives, but now live in the States. And um, so they're doing a going away party. And technically, since I'm leaving tomorrow to go to Bo, and I'll be going to, um, from Bo direct back to Ghana. Technically, it's also like a going away party for me. So we're heading there now. Check it out. So I got here a little late. The food is here and there's a full bar and a bartender. We're not playing around. I got here too late. I was trying. I got here too late. I turned on the camera too late. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
think over the past two weeks we have enjoyed the company of the boys. It's been a while, actually. It's been a while they've been with us and um, they are here to celebrate their mom's um, 70th birthday. And they uh, have um, at least made chance so that we could all come together and spend some quality time as old friends. And also we have made new friends. So on that note, I would want to toast to the health and um, friendship, to good yes. luck, to good fortunes, and above all, peace and happiness. So to life. Yeah, so overall, it was a good time. What did you guys think? Um, you know, some of it we could share, some of it I couldn't because, you know, copyright and all that kind of stuff. But it was a really, really good time. Um, I definitely recommend if you guys could do karaoke with friends, it's such a fun event. You forget how fun karaoke is until you have an event like that. And I now have done karaoke for the first time without alcohol. Any other time I've ever done karaoke in my life, I've had to have a significant amount of alcohol, at least one or two glasses of wine. I did karaoke in front of my coworkers last June in, um, in Ghana, and I had maybe two glasses of wine before I got up and did that karaoke. Uh, and then I did it again this time for the first time with no alcohol. So it can be done, guys. Don't feel like you have to drink and use it as a crutch to have a good time. It's a lot of fun and I definitely recommend it. All right, guys, on to the next. So that's it, guys. That was week, week 74 or week five of me in Sierra Leone. Um, what'd you guys think of everything? The karaoke, what'd you think of the supermarket? What'd you think of um, New Brookfield's hotel? What'd you think of the birthday party? Give me all your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you know anybody that's planning to come to Sierra Leone, make sure that you send this video to them so they get an idea of what are some of the things that they could do, what a supermarket looks like, and just like what some of the good times you could have with friends here. Um, but with that, guys, make sure you like, don't forget to comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and make sure you hit that bell that says always so you're notified every time a new video comes out. And with that, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.